It's a rainy Monday here at Creekside Nursery and it has been a doozy of a weekend. So I decided I'm gonna plant up some gorgeous succulents in this unique stone container. Come join me. Jenny and today we are inside because it is a rainy Monday. It has been a doozy of a weekend. This past Saturday was our first Saturday being open at the nursery. We had a fantastic turnout. Got to meet all sorts of fantastic new faces and see old faces. It was wonderful. And then this morning we launched our new online ordering website. So that has kept us really busy and you can see that I dressed up for you because this is real life here at Creekside Nursery. Mondays are kind of a slow day for us and I try not to make any appointments on Mondays because the weekends are just so busy and it's just our day to just relax, be productive, but just be chill. And I always tell my friends, I'm like, you know that your family, when you can come over and I'm not dressing up for you, or the house is dirty. So, you know that you are family now because Jenny did not dress up for you. I may or may not still have my slippers on from the first thing this morning. You may be wondering where we are. We are in our schoolroom. And I, we are in our schoolroom because it has great light in here. And this table that I have it set up on, um, you might be able to see that I have some of these canna lilies right here. These were a gift from one of our um, plant suppliers. So I have overwintered them here and they're doing great. It is still too early for some of these succulents to go outside. So I'm going to go ahead and plant it up in this unique stone urn. This is the urn that goes on top of that sweet hippo. If you will remember, we got the hippo from our first unique stone order. I love that hippo so much. This is the, the um, scalloped urn that goes on top of it. I'm gonna go ahead and plant these succulents now and then Kind of keep it inside until the weather turns a little bit more warm because there are some that are perennials but some of them are not this is not going to be an exclusive video on like all these unique type of succulents this is called jenny needs some plant therapy and so she just thought that you would like to join her in this little endeavor i will also say this is going to be one of my first containers like this i've not done a mixed succulent container in a really, really long time. So this is just really fun for me and I'm just gonna play with it. So first things first, you need to get a good quality potting soil. You can actually, what I've got, this is a cactus, palm, citrus potting mix. Went to honestly a big box store and got it. It's just a, kind of a small bag because I don't need a ton of it. I may do some more um, indoor little containers later on. So this will be plenty for me. You want kind of an indoor or rather a cactus mix because it drains really well and you know that your succulents don't like to have a lot of moisture, a lot of wet feet, um, so you need a soil that's really going to drain well. Let's stick this down here. Also being in the schoolroom is that I can make a mess and it's okay because we can just vacuum it up um, it's no big deal, so we're just going to have some fun. Now, here we go. When I was in the greenhouse trying to pick out these plants yesterday, that was quite an endeavor because there were just so many cool succulents to choose from. So this particular one is called Blue Chalk Sticks. Now, we got a succulent mixture from Pleasant View Gardens. They were one of our um, sources for our proven winter plants. So Pleasant View is up in New Hampshire, and they offer this year, and maybe they've done it in the past, and I just didn't realize it, but a succulent collection. So we ordered like a kit, and they came with all these different kinds of succulents, which was really cool. Um, so we're going to go with the blue chopsticks, and we'll put all the information up for you, so don't fret. Right now, we're just going to have some fun planting. It'll be interesting to see how developed their roots are because we planted these 
um, just a couple of weeks ago, and this is like a quart size container. So you can see it's got some roots, but it's not all the way full and that's okay. And I may end up having to take some of this soil out, but I know I want the blue chalk sticks in the middle because it's really kind of the most impressive right now. I mean, look at that beautiful color. I love it. You know what's interesting too, is I just saw that um, there's another baby coming up and it's not the blue chalk sticks, it's somebody else. Because that's another thing with succulents is that um, they're really easy to propagate. Even if you're not really intending to propagate, like somebody got in here with the blue chalk sticks and said, we have a little stowaway, but that's okay. Um, this is a variegated jade plant. Really great foliage on it. And I know that these plants are not gonna like be here forever and ever, amen, but that's all right. For now, for this season, it will be good. Again, some roots, not a huge, massive, extensive system. And I think I'm gonna stick it, knowing how the hippo is, I might bring this blue chopsticks over a little bit. Bring in the variegated jade plant. So I know that this is all these plants are gonna outgrow this little scallop urn because this little scallop urn is pretty. I mean, as far as planters go, is, is relatively small, but that's okay. So we're just kind of going here for the immediate look. So I've got those in. Um, then this one did not come with a tag. I have the name again. We'll stick it all on there. But look at this. Just an absolutely beautiful blue foliage on it, blue-green foliage. It has great little, tons of little babies that are popping up on the side. So I thought, well, yes. Definitely want the one with the little babies. So we're just gonna go in here, again, make it a mess, it's all right. We're gonna stick her right there near the edge. So sweet. And then, another gorgeous one. Y'all are like, Jenny, you should know your names. I don't, it's all right, it's all right. Now, Succulents, of course, come in all shapes, sizes, colors, textures, heights. Um, some are short, some are tall, some are fat, some are skinny. I'm going to get this beautiful thing. I think I'm going to stick it. Let's see. Because I do have some that are going to be trailers, and I want to plant those in between everybody else. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through here and get everybody planted. And then when we're done, I'll come back and I'll talk to you about it.
the planter has been all put together. Very simple, but I love it because it has a lot of different colors and textures in it. There were, again, like I, some of I told, like some of the plants that I told you are not um, named right now. We'll, of course, put all the, that information up there for you in just a little bit. But the thing is with the, with the containers like this is that you go to the nursery and you see what they have. And you just kind of go and you shop and keep an open mind. That's what, for me, is so fun about gardening is that, yes, sometimes you have a plan and you go and you want to stick to that plan, but then the also is to go and see what are some of the plants that you weren't even expecting to see, and then you find these great things. So there is, of course, the variegated jade, the blue chalk sticks. Then there are several, I have four different kind of trailing succulents. There is like a tricolor. There is the dragon's blood, which is a lot of fun. That's a big name. And then the sea urchin, which is really cute. And then um, I think it's John, John Creech, which is a creeper and it has great roots. Already as it's going out, the roots were going down and hanging on to some soil. So just go explore, have some fun, see what you can find, and then put a little container together. I will say also that on one of these little guys, he was dropping a lot of his little um, petals. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these out of the um, cork container that it was in and I'm going to lay it inside of this unique stone urn because what they may happen is they may go ahead and root and then I'll have lots of new babies. Our Christine, she is a genius with succulents because they lived overseas for a period of time and when they were over there succulents were really, really popular. And so she was able just to have this whole succulent garden. Um, so how do I maintain this? I'm gonna keep it, as the temperatures are still cold, I'm gonna keep it indoors in a nice, bright, sunny location, which probably is, if you've been around for gardening with Creekside for any amount of time, you know that the best place in my house for that is my bathroom. So it'll either go in the bathroom or it will stay here in the schoolroom because those are gonna be my two brightest spots. Okay guys, sorry about that. We had a little bit of technical difficulty there with the microphone, camera, whatever. Okay, so it's the next day, and remember I told you, I think I did, anyway, how I'm going to care for this container until spring warmer temperatures. We are obviously in our bathroom. My bathroom is the sunniest, warmest spot in the winter, and so I am going to leave it here on the edge of my bathtub until the outside temperatures warm up. So what I did this morning to water it was I have one of these little, they're called a dish pan tub, and you can get them at the dollar store. If you don't have any of these in your life, you need to get these because they are so versatile and easy. So because I believe this is like a 12 inch square bottom, so a, a regular saucer won't fit it. So I just put it inside of this little dish tub and I just watered it gently in there enough to dampen the soil, dampen the roots. All the water went in here, so now that it's drained, I can just put this back and use it next time. So I'll just keep it watered, damp, moist, not bone dry, not soaking wet. Just play with it. Your plants will let you know how they're doing, um, but I'm excited to see these grow, and then we will stick him out back on top of the hippo come this spring with warmer temperatures. As always, thanks so much for gardening with Creekside. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends.